Okay, so we're just headed up to the top of the property here and you can see the smoke right over there. That's where the fire is. I'll see if we can get a better view from the top of the property. Okay, stay close, okay? okay so we're at the top of the property and we're going to hang out here for a few minutes to see if we can... Oh, my ears are, ears are popping. To see if we could uh, see the big water bomber again and maybe get a good shot of it. But, uh, yeah, this is the fire here. It's not... It's not huge, but it can become huge in no time. I think for a thousand dollars an hour, I could probably do that job. That was a good one. Look at that. Yeah. He's going to be proud of that dump. <laughs> Sometimes when I do a dump, I'm pretty proud too. Oh, I know. Okay, so we watched the fire for about a half hour. Unfortunately, the big bombers have stopped. It's 5.30 now, and I think 4.30, the big bombers stopped bombing it. So we missed out on that, but uh, well, if it, if it fires up again, I'll try to get the big bombers tomorrow. And maybe later tonight, I'll put the drone up once the, once the helicopters and planes aren't flying anymore then it's safe for me to put the drone up and I might be able to get a look of it glowing and get a better idea what's going on with it. The one kind of issue is right now the wind is going up the mountain because of the time of day. Later in the evening the wind will be going down the mountain so the fire most likely will change directions later on and head kind of closer towards our place. So we'll just keep an eye on it. Got the truck in first. I know. So that's weird. I noticed. Yeah. If you're wondering why my hair is always wet, well, that's because there's forest fires and I got a bit of an old growth forest here. So if I keep it wet, Hey, I'm safe. I think the only way that fire up behind me is gonna become an issue or could become an issue 
is if it starts coming this way. Right now it's heading up the mountain and we live down the mountain. So come nighttime, the air pressure, the wind, the, it goes down. So it will probably change directions and they'll be on it again tomorrow. So then they'll stay on it until it's out. No worries. And that's pretty much what you think about it too. You don't even worry about forest fires, do you? You just worry about, um, where's the kitty? So it's been two days since I filmed that, uh, that little fire up the hill. I thought I would let you guys see uh, what it looks like two days later. This isn't from that fire. This is just from the multiple other fires around. It's a funny thing. I've lived here around 20 years, I guess. It's only been like a handful of years that it's been like this. Maybe like the last five or six years that every year you can't see the mountains. It gets worse and worse. Um, yeah, you could blame that on global warming. But the thing is, about half of these fires are caused by people. Uh, campfires and cigarette butts mostly. And I was kind of under the impression that evolution, people are supposed to evolve. Does that, doesn't that mean they're supposed to get smarter, not stupider? I don't know. Makes no sense to me. Gotta put a little bit more water in. So, uh, <clears throat> looks like we're back in the heat wave again. It's supposed to hit probably around 40 here today. So, what I'm gonna do is I'll, I'll pop the drone up in the air and we can take a look and see how smoky it is today. You can see from that other, that little fire, it wasn't smoky at all. Since then, it's been put out, it was put out probably that day, and a couple more have popped up since then. Okay, let's go up and take a look. Okay, so if you're still watching, thanks for watching.